Hey Lesnar, hmm? why are we planting tree instead of using hydroponic systems? Oh, because firstly, hydroponic systems will occupy a large surface area on the land. And secondly, hydroponic systems can be easily destroyed by the land animals. And also, thirdly, the plants in the hydroponic system will receive less sunlight when the buildings are built around. Yes, true. Then, why don't we build a hydro vertical hydroponic systems? Oh, vertical hydroponic systems. Yeah, actually, vertical hydroponic system is great. Although it is great, but it still occupies a large area in in a crowd. It, it, okay. Yeah, it still occupies space in a crowded area in the city that could interrupt people's activities. Oh yes, how about we create some hydroponics that look like tree? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let's go. <laughs> if it it's the The future is here. Introducing the high tree, the hydroponic tree. You might have heard hydroponic plants, vertical and horizontal plants, but this is a new era. The future is here. We are, have designed the hydroponics in the form of tree. This is inspired by the tree branches and the tree trunks. And here, as you can see, this is our prototype. Just like humans, plants need water to survive. It doesn't matter wherever you are, Plants need water, especially in those dry days. But in this system, how do we do that? Because in our nature, flow and xylem does the work. So in this model, we have used the water pump itself. So we have pumped the water from the bottom to the top and gravity does the work. So gravitational force pulls down the water to the bottom and the water recycles all the time. So it's not only a normal water, we also provide nutrients along with the water. The second feature here we have is the adjustable tree trunk. Okay, you might be wondering why do we have this? Our main concern for this uh, hydroponic tree is because we want to save place. So in this model, as you can see, I will display now, we can adjust the height by mechanism that we have installed here. But right now, I'm doing it manually because as we said, this is a prototype. So this uh, average human uh, that will be around this height. So basically, the tree will be taller than the human only if you adjust it. So what are we trying to say here is this tree you can put anywhere you want which means inside your room or also outdoor uh, uh, around your corridor or your porch anywhere. So this you can bring anywhere so in short term this is a portable high tree. Number three the solar system. The solar system provides a light source to the, not only to the plants but also to the surrounding. This can be used as an emergency light for the whole house or also the company. Here it's an optional choice for the uh, customers who want to buy this because they, we understand solar system are right now are expensive. But in this case, we provide an affordable uh, price where a lot of people can buy, doesn't matter which family they came from. The fourth feature we have in this high tree is, as you can see, this is in a higher ground compared to those uh, land uh, hydroponic. Okay, So what is the difference between having in a high ground and a low ground? So the main purpose here we put in a high ground is because this can avoid land animals such as uh, rats or squirrels from damaging the plants because here we are not only planting normal trees or plants. We can plant uh, fruits such as tomatoes or any plants that you love to eat. So in this situation, once if we plant on the ground, the rats and cats have an easy access to eat those uh, your loved plants. 
The next will be related to the point where I said we can extend the trunk of this high tree. So with this, we can make sure that all the plants around the uh, hydroponic system to receive maximum sunlight. But you might be thinking, does other tree doesn't receive any sunlight? What we are saying here is we receive maximum sunlight, which means it doesn't get blocked by any higher buildings or so on. So you can extend this and get the sufficient. The advantages of high tree, we can keep going and going because there are no cons here. I can see here. There are a lot of pros here that you really like to go deeper and deeper, but we don't have much time for it. I will come to the, the point that we all are waiting for the biomimicry to this project. So what it really is, is the branches. Our founder, Lesnar Chai, have been inspired by the tree around this because here in Eli University, we are surrounded by greeneries and a lot of flora and fauna here. So looking at, at our everyday life, we have been looking at these branches every single day. So our listener have finally made that these branches can be inspired in this project. Biomimicry of a tree. Tree has a large surface area on the top, supported by the branches have the leaf to gain optimum sunlight for photosynthesis and it only occupy a very small area on the surface of the land, increasing the land efficiency. At the same time, its height can also prevent the attacks from land animals such as cats, rats, rabbits, squirrel, etc. We mimic the structure of the branches and build it by using strong and non-rusting material such as aluminium or composite. A clay tiled roof can hold a dead load of up to 27 per square foot, according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which implies the dendriform roof structure can support a dead weight of up to 27 per square foot. This strong and durable structure will hold a hydroponic system on the upper part, which can help the hydroponic plants to gain the maximum amount of sunlight, prevent land animals' attacks, and at the same time, only occupy a small surface area on the land. The trunk can be adjusted to any height we want, so the vegetables and fruits can be easily collected. The advantage of cone compared to the cylinder. Cone have smaller surface area that could reduce the air resistance and make the high tree more stable. Cone also have more space for the plants to grow. Cone is also a stable shape with maximum height.